Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here, we are for more of Legend of Zelda uh, Ancient Stone Tablets, a sequel to A Link to the Past that has been lost to time officially, but has been obviously restored by fans because Nintendo won't do it. That's going to be my slogan for this basically, isn't it? We just finished week one, I've made a save state just so that in case if anything goes wrong in this live stream, I can just reload it at, for the start of week two. Notice that the file in the in week two's folder is exactly the same, and my save states have carried over, which means the SRAM's carried over. Don't want to choose that though. <laughs> Ignore these three, these are my previous files, but we've updated that, so if we play chapter two and we don't get everything done, I can easily just reload my first save state so that my file was my in-game file was clocked back. Refresh so I can, you know get back into the game proper so it doesn't break with an incorrect save state and we can hop in so we'll just boot in normally how do you like that little graphic at the side by the way i had like a bunch of different ones i saw online i put them together to make the console up and uh it looks pretty good <laughs> just to let you know that is that kind of exclusive oh uh, yeah probably because it only takes about four minutes uh, four minutes four hours one hour per week in order to get in, so I might as well do it in one sitting if possible. It's quite short. The legendary kingdom of Hyrule. Six years ago, the land came to be at peace. So this is six years after Link to the Past. However, in its troubled past, the leader of the thieves, Gandalf, obtained the Triforce, became the evil king Ganon, and attempted to conquer the land. The prince Aghanim, possessed by Ganon, in order to break the seal cast by the sages to entrap the evil king, proceeded to sacrifice their descendants one by one. Zelda, the princess of Hyrule, was also a descendant, and was therefore imprisoned by Aghanim in the dungeon of Hyrule Castle. However, Zelda called frantically from her cell. Help! Please help! My name is Zelda! I'm held captive in the castle dungeon! I don't know. I can't sound urgent as a girl. Link, a boy of Hyrule, don't know why that's spelt with weird gaps in there, heard her cries, and he began a request to save the princess to defeat Ganon. Numerous dangers awaited him, but Link, mustering his courage, wisdom, and power, of course, was at last able to defeat the evil king Ganon. He then departed for another adventure. The people of Hyrule, extolling the tales of his deeds, came to revere him as Link, the hero. Since then, a time of peace descended upon Hyrule. Yeah, no worries. Hopefully you can catch it. I'll still be going. That's why I started at 6. I started early today. I normally do it at 8. We're whisked back into the world of Hyrule! I mean, technically, that's just the same cutscene from earlier. We're technically still stuck in Hyrule, but if they locked you into the game and you wouldn't be able to play the rest of the game, you wouldn't be able to do anything. I think this bit's still the same. Princess Zelda followed the mysterious brilliance. Oh no, it's recapping the start of the first game. Excuse me. I don't normally sit and read these. A man named Agna, younger brother of Hyrule's elder Sahasrala, was there. Ah, I just wake up earlier and earlier as I grow older. Oh, who could this be? The dialogue's different! This ain't canon! <laughs> Agna, what happened? Oh, I also like how they use the uh, female avatar so they both get equal exposure. Princess Elder, this here young'un dressed something unusual. Some weird dress like get up. Ah, not dead, I hope. Me, 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 me. That day, a mysterious youth fell from the heavens. Because if they did, lo as I was saying, if they did actually lock you into the game and you couldn't use the rest of the BSX uh, system for a week, for up to four weeks in a row, that'd be pretty bad. Oh, this is a disaster! Aren't you the soldier who was at Eastern Temple? What's wrong? Are you right? You are hurt! A horde of monsters came from nowhere. All my other soldiers defending the temple were either killed. Looks like they haven't appeared yet, yet but... Uh, Oi! Hold on to your strength. All of a sudden, monsters appeared. Yeah, it pretty much is a recap. The youth began an adventure in Hyrule, seeking a sword and shield. No one could decipher the strange characters on the hidden stone tablets that the youth found hidden in the land's dungeons. Seeking some clues, the youth and Agana travelled to the home of Sahasrala, Elder of Hyrule. Not his hideout, because that's where we started. And it just happened to be a decent base of operations for the first week. Ancient stone tablets, week two! It's weird having an episodic Zelda game. 
But then again, that kind of makes that kind of seems how um oh what's it? Four Swords Adventures feels like. Because it's like level based, you have a very basic world map, and you choose a level and you play it, and that's that. Your progress doesn't actually carry over from level to level, it always restarts. Similar to how it is with uh, the original Four Swords game. Or even um, Triforce Heroes, although we don't normally talk about Triforce Heroes, because that's worse than Adventure of Link. But hey. So, as you can see, our files carried over. As I've said before, the um, first couple of digits on your timer is normally the hour, and it would say 16... No, it wouldn't say 16, it would say 18, which is 6pm, because that's when the, the original broadcast would happen, but for the ROM hacks, as well as the restoration, they changed it to the week number, so you know what week you're actually playing if you, for whatever reason, forget when you're playing. You can start a new file from here, you will not be screwed out. But obviously we're not doing that. Ah, you're awake. You're going to continue your adventure today. Please be careful. Ah, you almost forgot your belongings. You should take them with you. Yep, now we've got our inventory back. Yay. <laughs> When you're outside, you can use the ocarina to call a bird. It'll take you to any place you wish. Well, you should begin searching for the third stone tablet as soon as possible. While you slept, I looked into these stone tablets. If you want to see its location on the map, press X when you go outside. You work very hard. When you become older, you don't have the strength to get you had in your youth. Well, you may rest here for a bit if you wish. I believe she heals you when you talk to her. Dungeons, fierce monsters, they hold no, no special meaning. So, we've got the entirety of Kakariko to explore. We're on the other side of the map now. I believe we can cut across uh, Hyrule Castle to get back to the other side of the map. But as you can see, we've got a dungeon here, and I believe we've also got a forest temple. Um, so we got to check the entirety of uh, Kakariko quick. So, first of all, uh, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to go in here. Into the usual Thieves hideout. This is actually not different. Oh yeah, I said I was going to press R. L and R do the same thing. It, I think the updated broadcast version allows you to press R to have um, in, uh, a read of your inventory. But I don't have that version. <laughs> I have a slightly older version, but it still works. Pretty much the same. And again, if you wanted to have the broadcast version, uh, you have to have the MSU2 patch. But I'm not doing that. Because otherwise I won't be able to talk to you guys, because they'll always be talking in the background and in my ears. Throw me off. Right, I need bombs. Because we're already losing minutes. And, yeah, again, the bomb isn't there. But this is basically exactly the same, except for the fact that there is no heart piece here. It's just a provisional uh, recovery spot, really. So, at least we cleared this area out. So let's get out. Uh, Normally, one of the first things you do when you're in Kakariko Village in A Link to the Past is going to the well. That's what we're going to do to get our first major item. And yes, there is a heart piece in there, just like in the original. There's only one problem, though. <coughs> oh my god, I actually jumped over it. Did not realise that. Uh, yeah, the back, the, it's caved in a bit. Um, we ended up in the back instead of landing here like we usually do. And the well's all dried up within six years. So yeah, this takes like six years after A Link to the Past. Don't know where Link's gone during that time, but then again, it also said that Link has been off on a journey. Maybe it's during the Oracle games if it's not supposed to be Link's Awakening as originally intended. Who knows? So, which would make sense, because then obviously Zelda would leave once Hyrule's safe in order to go, but you know, in the Oracle games part two sort of thing. So we need to check basically everything around here. What do you want? By the way, Magic Sop's uh, looking for mushrooms. Fair. So if we find a mushroom... We want to hand that in. Problem is, we will not find a mushroom until 13 minutes in. So, what we want to do is make our way down, because it will actually rain pretty early. So, we want to bomb this open, at least, the storage room, again, as we usually do. Shiggity dig. Doing the jig. Piece of heart there. Nice. Still a good place to get bombs if we need them, but we've got two upgrades so far, so that's not too bad. We've got plenty of supplies. Hello there, old chum. Hey, you know about Ganon? He was going to conquer the world. He's a bad guy. But my great buddy Link beat him up. Anyway, what does conquer the world mean? Mate, I think you need a dictionary. Not the Book of Medora, just saying. This store's the same? Nothing. Pro no problem here. So if we ever need some quick provisions we can just spend some money oh it's getting foggy we've got to hurry up and i can catch you oh I, I can if i didn't cock it up 
I don't recognize your face. Are you a traveler away from home? Sorry, take care on your journey. It has begun to fog over. Oh! Oh, summon the fortune teller! Yeah, you kind of forgot to do that, didn't you? <laughs> the dude's in training. This is his training, don't worry. Maybe that's why he's basically the brother of a sage. This is divine intervention. Putting us in a situation just to give him training. <laughs> it's a cruel punishment. Right, I'm going to get you this time. Here we go. And I can turn on a dime, and you're faster a little bit, I think. You're the second person that's ever caught up to me. Here, take this. Thank you. Let's go in here. Ah, in a bottle. That's a piece of heart. So we're still trying to go as quickly as possible. Trying to check everywhere around here. Time's ticking. Uh, bug catching dude ain't here, but that's not a problem. Can we pull this? No, we can't. We can't we pull the face of Mario for additional moolah. That is a problem. Next house. Bush guy. We'll check the front of the uh, bar in a bit as well. Oh, welcome to my home. It must, it must have been difficult to enter. I'll tell you something good. There's supposed to be something living in the blacksmith's well. What do you think lives there? The exact same thing in A Link to the Past. Now, it's not exactly spoilers, considering that, you know, this is a sequel. If you've played Link to the Past, then you probably would be playing this one way or another. So you know what's in the well. It's just giving you a tip to remind you that it's still there. What do you want? By the way, did you know that there's a key cave to the east of town? Maybe that'll make you leave my house. Okay, I definitely can't pull those. I'm guessing they've removed that. But yeah, that's basically the entirety of Kakariko Explored. Let's try to go south. Never mind. <laughs> it just started raining. So we can't exactly go south here. Well, we can, but there's not really much else that we can do at the moment. So, hmm. That's a bit of a problem there, isn't it? Could have bombed behind the rental store. Didn't do that in time. I actually had that listed as a place to go for now, so we'll go explore that area later as well. That's the village smithy, as we know. Blue Rippy here. You can't use bombs outside anymore. The seer has heard the call. Won't you share your prophecy? Hocus Pocus! He's sleeping. Ah, it'll turn good when you drink it during the day. <laughs> oh, son. Already time for dinner. Oh, dear. We're still using the same flute. That's sad. Well, we can't do anything while it's raining. I see a mushroom. Where did you see it? Yep, it's uh, about to hit uh, 13 minutes in. So that means... Look at the new path here. Yep, and now it's uh, 13 past. So that means uh, the, the mushroom has now spawned pretty much at the entrance of the forest. Not so far from where it normally appears in Link to the Past. So that's not a problem. You know, they've got so much mileage out of this map. It's ridiculous. I'm talking about Link Between Worlds as well. Oh, uh, we can use bombs inside. Give me that. So our next point of interest is actually when it hits uh, 19 past. Ice in the Lost Woods. Those who lose their way are never seen again. Be cautious. My brother once said that mushrooms should be taken to the, the witch at the potion shop. To Ablib. God, that's a terrible spawn point. So yeah, this is area is a little bit different. And we're going to go down this way. Because this is our dungeon. And I like to call this dungeon the Forgotten Dungeon. As in, like, it's next to Hyrule Field. It goes underground quite a ways, actually. I like to think of these as the Forgotten the forgotten Catacombs. We'll call it that. Uh, let's go this way first, I think. So again, we're just going to do like a mega quick s survey of the dungeon. Let's have a look at the map. We've got a room to the right. So let's go get our bombs out again. I already had them equipped. That was a... Oh god, I didn't want to do that. And they didn't blow up against the wall. That sucks. Oh my god. Put them at the wall and don't pick up the bomb this time. Well, that was terrible and a waste of time. Master Agona, have you seen something? Uh, I'm not going to deal with the enemies in this room. Screw them. I see the shadows of fairies. Don't really need them once again. Seriously, the game just holds your hand. It's silly. But hey, you got to go fast. That's the gimmick. 
So if you're weak, you probably won't be going fast. The land of Hyrule is helping us. Youth, you may reach out, a reach out for a fairy or catch it with a net. There's a room that we can't actually get all that money in until we have the hammer. So we're going to have to wait for now. Don't worry, we will get the hammer in this uh, particular day. Sonic X. <laughs> Sonic X. Oh yeah, because I'm going fast. But yeah, let's... uh. Wait, hang on. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Good, don't worry. I'm just checking the map for rooms. Till we get the hammer, we can't do too much. But that's what I was trying to make mention uh, at the end of chapter one. Um, when you finish a week and go to the next one, you can't go to previous dungeons. They don't want you wasting your time with dungeons you've already cleared. If, you've, uh, if you haven't if you have cleared any dungeons or didn't clear them out entirely, and there's stuff that you might have missed so you can't do the week you're on, if you go back to the entrance of a uh, of a week that you can't actually do, and you could basically, if you're on a week that you can't do anything in because you didn't get items from the previous week, go to the entrance of the pre previous week's dungeons, and they'll and thieves will have done the job to get you through. Basically, they'll just say you have no time to waste here, but take these items to save the world or something, and there you go. You, you would have the, the the sword, the shield, the boomerang, stuff like that. Stuff that's required, because we kind of need it here. Especially for the uh, previous room and stuff. Anything within a dungeon that is permanently... That you would require, you would get. Check the map. There's nothing to the right. So that's actually a red herring to make you waste a bomb. Sneaky. However, we do want a bomb. This wall. I also want to pick up a pot and chuck it at one of these helmet swords to one shot. Because it's stu the pots are stu mightier than the sword. They never got this thing sharpened, did they? The rain's lit up! We can now use bombs outside again. The rain's lit up, the fog remains, but you should be able to use bombs outside again. Young one, if you're outside, try using a bomb. And we've got the blue mail! We've got enhanced defense. That is pretty cool. We can't go left yet, so we'll go down this way first. That was a smack to the head, wasn't it? Right on the skull. I mean, a pot to a skull would do a lot of damage, let's be honest. Let's try, try to deny on Mint's words. Come down here. Got the big chest. Got the hammer. I don't know what was with that stray you there. That was weird how it did that first, then the rest of the text box. You found the magic hammer, you can strike stakes into the ground with it. It can also pound in other things. Oh, I'm trying to trying to spin attack here, actually. There we go. Can't go that way. Let's check the map. Can we go this way? Not unless we were upstairs. Now this room can be done at the moment. So you know what we want to do? What I want to do is whip out the ocarina and just whoop straight back to the beginning. It's a lot faster, trust me. Get the hammer. Now we can actually clear out the room here. To the left. As I hit the edge of the wall. Bob sag. You could use the Pegasus shoes to try and grab these a lot quicker. But it's a lot more... Le it's a lot more inaccurate. I should have said a lot less accurate. To be more grammatically correct. But I can't English. While well, I'm trying to go fast. That's why I don't uh, speedrun a lot. Or even try to commentate when I'm trying to play fast. But this game kind of requires it. <laughs> Which is another reason why um, Jaws Miles takes a while. Right, I've got to pound those to get them out of the way, but I want to go over here first. The magic. Oh! The potion shop's now selling the golden potion again. Master Agatha, the magic shop's now selling a golden potion. Oh, look at that. Two in one hammer swing. You'd love to see it. So, yeah, that was um, basically a minute after um, the mush. No, not a minute after. What am I saying? The minute after the uh, rain let up is what I'm trying to say. Cover your strength and magic. So we already know what it does. And it, like I said, there's only one per week. So you want to get them. And they're, they're pretty cheap as well. They're only one use. Only one time. One per week. But they're quite useful. I just don't tend to use them. I just grab them for the sake of... Hey, I've got the exclusive item. I'm happy. I'm going to fill every bottle with it. Because you get a bottle per week as well. Oh, 
way across here. I don't know why I'm cutting the, uh, the curtains. They're not going to reveal any doors. Just bomb the walls as necessary. Which I definitely need to do here. So let's do it. And we've got yet another capacity upgrade that we can buy. Looks like you're heading for trouble. You want to carry more bombs? Give me 100 rupees. Yep, sure. I have got 3,555 rupees to my name. Do I even need to worry? Quickly to the magic shop. Using your ocarina. Do you understand? I do understand, but I'm not in a hurry to get it right now. I'm in the middle of a uh, palace, and I want to kick bottom. So there's a stairway down, uh, down that way, but we don't want to be dealing with that right now. I didn't mean to place a bomb there. Oh my god, I'm actually getting lag because of all the enemies on screen. Ow. Can we get rid of you, please? Get yeah, down. Fucking. Am I thinking of this dungeon or am I thinking of another dungeon? I'm thinking of another dungeon. Let's ignore that for now. The fog has lifted and the weather has cleared. Fair. That's very nice to know, actually. You can see what I'm doing! Find yourself, if you find yourself lost in the dungeon, you can go as I said. You can do as I said before, and use the ocarina. I could do, but consider. Dungeon. Need to get it done. There's a bulb of wall to the left, so we'll do a deal with that. It's actually kind of telegraphed with the gap in the parts. There's a BMOS. Watch yourself. Eat him out. Get the 100 roops. And then we're just going to mosey on out. And nothing happened. We can go north. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go down here. Nice. Oh yeah, they don't tend to jump away that quickly when you use the hammer. That's kind of cool, actually. I forget about that. Nah, I'm not going to bomb with you. However, I do need a bomb. Yeah, we're spending a lot of time in this dungeon. To be fair, we need to hurry up a bit. Another 50 rupees, another 50 rupees. There's another bomb wall to the left here, so we'll go do that quick. We fill my health a little. Get the bombs back. Don't really need to worry about that then. Once again, I sense a strange power gathering around the youth. I would pause and get out my hammer, because it would take the pots out a lot quicker, but at the same time, pausing would probably eat, eat up the time I would save, so we'll just do that. Problem is, I'm not in a room with enemies. That might actually kill all the enemies in this room. It did! Nice. Shouldn't have to worry about them for now. Let's head in here. Six chests, all containing 50 rupees. That's 300 rupees right there. It's just a little bit annoying that it doesn't just give you 300 rupees straight up. You have to spend the time opening the chests. It's a reward, but it eats up your time. So, bear that in mind. Let's have a look at the map here. Yep, we've got everything on this floor. Nice. So now we can use the key to get down to the next floor. The power protecting you is stirring today. Use it well. Now, you know what these pots do when you see a little teleportation tile that's greyed out. It's a hidden fairy fan in case you need it. Don't need to worry about it too much, though. Not really my concern. But hey, I'll show it off. In case you need to know about it. For now, though, I'm going back downstairs. Further into the Forgotten Dungeons of Hyrule Castle. And guess what? Pretty much at the end of this dungeon now, and we've cleared out every room. Not only that, but we have the blue mail, which ironically enough was one of the chests I forgot in my practice run. I had to come back here um, to the entrance and talk to the thief outside the front in order to do it. I will be showing that off at some point because it'll be a lot more convenient to do so. Helmosaur King! You know what to do. Chuck bombs at him. Don't use the hammer. It's pointless. Every time I explode around him, it will damage his mask. Just don't chuck it straight at him because it'll just ping off of his mask. We need to get rid of that helmet. Ow, that's not good. Hey! I Did that count? I don't know. Master Agatha, what is it? Ow, rude. There we go. Right. He's probably going to start talking about the boss that we're fighting right before I actually, you know, kill him. Ah, oh, you bastard, you moved. You bastard, you moved again. And he's dead, look at that. I believe I used the hammer. I mean, you're intended to, but the bombs are easier. 
In fact, they actually tell you to use bombs against this thing in this version, which is how I originally learned to use bombs before watching other people do it. Okay, it didn't actually tell me that there were uh, fairies. It just kind of skipped that down on the bottom of the screen there. <laughs> Maybe it's because there was too much going on in the game. Young one, did you hear? It's 25, actually. Yeah, we still haven't got um, our next point of interest, ironically enough. You got a strange stone tablet. Does this stone tablet have some kind of significance? Maybe. Bye, fairies! <laughs> Not getting you. Oh, there we are. I can get out now. <laughs> I couldn't get out! <laughs> But yeah, it's not raining anymore, so what we're going to do to eat up a bit of time before it is, well, time, is sort out some stuff. So I'm going to go south first. And go get the stuff down here that I couldn't get originally. Like this over here. If I was quick enough and it wasn't raining, I could have bombed this up earlier. Oh yeah, no worries. I didn't realise you were still lurking, actually, to be fair. But yeah, I uh, hope you can catch it soon. Thank you for dropping in, Sibling Gario. Oh no, need the boomerang. Ha! There we are. Another heart piece, and that's another heart container. We're zooming. Now, next point of interest, ironically enough, is 28 minutes into the game, which is two minutes from now. Uh, the bottle seller that is normally in Kakariko, well, he will literally squad a lot on his uh, little, uh, on his uh, little magic carpet, and he'll land in his usual spot with a new bottle for sale. Uh, you know what? No, I don't. I don't need the level two sword. I'm gonna keep my money. I only did it for the first one because we didn't have a lot of pots in that in the second dungeon to deal with. So let's start heading back up. We'll deal with left in a minute. Whack this. Another heart piece. Where the Book of Medora normally is. So where's the Book of Medora? You'd think that Link would have returned it to the library at some point. But I guess it's such a valuable book they didn't think to do that. So now let's go to the left. Through the house. As you know. They actually sealed up the wall a lot better this time. Because you can't dash into it to break it. You have to actually use a bomb. So. But again, that's still sealing the room between the brothers. I guess they just did not sort out the differences. But how are you supposed to get over here? The garden's been brought out for another um, fortune teller. You can use fortune tellers like you usually would. Um, in Link to the Past, they would give you tips to find stuff that you had to pay 10 rubies for, plus a full heal. Not really necessary, so I'm never going to go in them. Oh, you know what? Nope, this is how we be fast. There we go. Open this up. And there we are. A heart piece. And now it is hit. 28 minutes in. Princess, a strange trader has set up shop in Kakariko. And this is not the strange man that runs the minigame. This is actually the Squadalar dude, which I didn't get a show off. He would have been floating in by the top before we even got there. What should be done? And what is the man selling? Here he is. If you were standing here, you would have literally saw him float from the heavens. Empty bottles, it seems. Perhaps those would be useful to the youth. 100 rupees for a bowl, as you do. Hold it above for good service. And now, it's time to go north, because there's, not much, there's nothing else to do in the village. We need to go to the left entrance here. Easy to become lost. Ignoring this notice will cause you to becoming a lost child. Human flight, please go see him. I already have done, I'm way ahead of you. Got some apples here, if we want to eat healthy. Right, so, into the Lost Woods we go. Got the mushroom. That's all we really needed. But, before we uh, make tracks, I want to hammer some of these stakes and head north for Tad, where we normally find the mushroom. Not normally we find the mushroom, but just above from the mushroom is the dwarf. He's got himself lost again. How do you keep doing this, mate? Eh, save me! I was looking for mushrooms, but now I can't go back home. I'm from the blacksmith shop. Please take me back to my partner. Will do, good sir. We will fly by bird, but before I take you back, I have some errands to run. So, X is, um, starting point. M is the potion store. Those always stay the same. Oh, a sweet aroma. If you give me that mushroom, I can make something for you. Let's go do that. Hee hee, thanks. I'll give you this leftover pouch in return. 
We got the magic powder. I'm guessing she perfected her craft a lot more, so she's able to make it without needing to wait for a bit. Sprink it, sprinkle it on something good might happen if you sprinkle on a lot of things. We're going to go in, and with our new potionino, we're going to stick that in our new bowl. Very effective medicine. It's only once a day, but it recovers life and magic power and helps you charge your sword faster. You can still talk to uh, the assistant in order to get a full heal if you so wish. We need to get back to uh, Kekariko, so let's do that. Oh, they were talking about something. Something about Link the Hero told me. It's about a terrible... Oh, yeah, they're talking about uh, the Helmer Sword King that we've already beaten. <laughs> yeah, they expect you to be in the first dungeon for that long. It's actually kind of ridiculous on how much they think you want you to be in there. I'm going to go, actually, through the second north entrance, actually. Because, if you notice, we can't go north this way. There are black boulders in the way. Just like how we had um, light-coloured boulders in the way. Then now we've got the dark coloured boulders in the way, which of course you need both the uh, tight, um, power glove and titans bit to get through. This still gives you full magic, so that's very helpful. But yeah, as you see at the bottom of the screen, it was mentioning that the Helmer Sword King can be beaten with bombs. So that's how I, that's, that's it, it's like an intended strategy. So, you know what we usually have when we go down here? There's a heart piece. However, it's not just that. They've actually converted the back room into a minigame. This was the original Thieves hideout, if you remember, in the lore. It's too too early, come back later, but it looks like we're going to have to toss some stuff into that cauldron down there. On the way out, heart piece, yet again. To make our way out. I've still got the uh, dwarf dude. I was not thinking. I was jumping the gun. Let me go sort that out quick. <laughs> I was going to bring him into the bloody dungeon. What's wrong with me? I completely forgot to do that. Completely forgot. See, this is what happens when you're, when you're like, trying to go fast. I just went straight back in without... Whoa, the bottom part of the screen bugged out there for a second. That's because the text was still on screen. Whoopsies. I mess up and then the game messes up. I guess that's f fair dinkum, innit? <laughs> Don't know why I went Aussie there. Smash the door open. Let's get him in. Hey, old friend, I'm back. I was worried about you. Thanks for your help. We ought to pay you somehow. Will you let us temper your sword? And they're so good at their craft, they've improved over the last six years as well, plus it's probably not the last sword. We now have permanent level two. The fighter sword's finally been improved. It's taken on a mysterious radiance. You can help them with the uh, forging if you want, but we're using the hammer, but not much comes out of it, to be fair. So, uh, ne By the way, next uh, point of interest is actually 1840. So... First of all, we want to come in here, and as by heeding the words of that pers the person of the inn behind the bushes, You want me for my sleep? Thank you. I'll have to pay you back for this. Are you ready? We get half magic again! Because, well, we're not the same person, so we never learned a lesson. Did you hear that, youth? Defeat foes to earn rupees. Yes, so it's now 33. Enemies always drop rupees for up to 5 minutes from now. So when it hits 38, enemies will stop dropping rupees. You're the only use a part of the magic power that you needed before. Oh, you better do your best for what it's worth. Farewell and goodbye. Thank you, good sir, who doesn't realise they've actually done a good. Right, so all that sorted. Didn't mean to go into the forest. I kind of jumped the gun a little bit there. What I meant to do was do th all this and then head back down south now in order to go get the, uh, the shovel. So I went a little bit off route. It's not too bad, though. I was focusing on mostly getting heart pieces. And then get in the bowl. Stuff like that. Oh, god damn it. We'll go around. Right, so now we got that. Go ahead out. And uh, where it be today? Oh, it's actually in the forest. That's perfect. Because at least then I have all the time with the shovel, if I've wired it. So, go back to start yet again. Funnily enough, that's the only warp I need to use. Yeah, what's the point of having warp 3 for that dungeon? I guess it's easier to pick up whatever you need if you're in another um, week. A future week, if you didn't get all the items there. So you could just teleport, grab what you need, and then go. But at the same time, it's like... I can just start literally to the left of it and not have that much time wasted, to be fair. 
then again, where they're going to stick all the warps. There's a soldier over here. The masked swords past this point, and I was ordered not to let no one through. Okay, but you do realise that um, only the hero of light or someone with the three pence of courage can pick that up, right? Master, Master Agona, what is it? Right, so now we're back to this point down here. I want to go up here. Want to bomb this? Once again, a strange power gathers around the youth. Yeah, if I didn't go off script, I probably wouldn't have been able to actually use that in the dungeon. That was my bad. I have my notes on me as well. It's to, to the side of me. It's just I didn't think to check it or notice that I still had the door following behind me. I just kind of wanted to go straight into the next dungeon. I mean, to be fair, that is where the real meat of the game is. And... Speaking of the real meat of the game, I guess that works. We have some enemies on the screen. Oh, I haven't actually done the Koopman thing. I don't actually know what he says. Oh, we'll do that when we come out of the dungeon then. I never actually did that as well. The power has vanished. Alright, this dungeon's a little bit annoying, I will admit. But this is the forest temple. Your power has proven useful. Well, we don't have the map yet, so we don't even know if this is a secret, so we'll bomb it. I'm pretty sure it ain't, though. Yeah, it's not. Bit of a weird room layout, though, don't you think? Well, we could take damage and get that, or we could actually find the switch, which we'll do. We'll do it proper. Ignore the pots for now. This is a bit odd. There's no rooms here, so let's start bombing some things. Can't do anything there either. There might be a bomb here, which is a bit awkward considering it's behind pots. But that's what we got to do. You're actually required to use bombs in order to get around. Ah, you'll be really quick. There we are. I like how the explosion continues to like move away even when the bomb itself's gone off. It's kind of funny that actually, when you think about it. Need a hammer, need a hammer. Bap, 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 bap. 300 groups. Nice, we're rich! I like how we just find like a bag of 300 green rupees or whatever. It's like we found someone else's wallet. Because I don't think there's actually a rupee that donates the value of 300 rupees. <laughs> I mean, you've got purple, which is 50. In most of games, at least. But we have the map now. And ironically enough, you could take damage in to get that in order to figure out what you need to do. But if you know what to do, it saves you health. We can't get through that door yet. The power to earn rupees has vanished. Well, it doesn't look like we can go anywhere else. We're going to have to fall down in the hole. It's the only way to make progress. Oh no! That's not helpful! So really the next point of interest that I want to make mention is that um, you have to fight with your own strength. I don't know why you said that when it comes to money, but fair. Oh, really? I hit the bomb. I was trying to hit the slug dude, which again, pots are, st pots are actually uh, equivalent to a f level 3 damage. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, but the next point of interest is literally in a couple of minutes from now, so... Which will actually be very useful for the dungeon. I'm just checking to make sure I haven't missed anything. We've got a couple of walls to bomb in the next room. Pretty sure, at least. Nailed him! Can I hit you? There we are. Nailed him. Right, so we've got two chests down below. Want to go get them. So let's just dash Rooney against these conveyors. Uh, I'm not entirely too sure how I got hit there when I was dashing in between multiple enemies and didn't stab a single one, but hey-ho. this room. Got to figure out what to do here. It's a pressure switch puzzle. So let's push this over. There we are. Two chests. Easy pickings. We get an improved shield that blocks fireballs. Nice. At least you think so, because it is janky and they actually do spell that out. 
Has anything changed? Pocus a pocus. And here comes the 40 minutes in bonus that I was on about. Ah, splendid. The boomerang can now pierce through enemies. So if I actually whip out the boomerang right now and give it a sling, it now has sparkles. So now it can do basically what it used to do before. It's just now a time sensitive thing. The map here, no new rooms really. That's fine. That's amazing. Youth, you should try it out. Well, once I have something to try it out on, I definitely will. Now, unfortunately, we haven't got the big key yet, and there's also the big chest just up ahead. Um, so we can't use the, um, God damn it! oh, we got unlucky there. We can't use the, uh, ocarina to get out. I was tempted to say book, but that's a different thing, and I was also tempted to say mirror, which is not the game, <laughs> so. It's funny how that, the, that particular feature keeps getting moved over to different games. I want to kill you. Eh! No, the lag made me mess up there. Uh, we haven't got the big key yet. I just remembered. I need to go south, I think. I'll take the hit. Yes, I lose 100 points for that. whoop de doo Okay, did you, know, look, I, did you notice that I'm grabbing it, but then walking away? If you're not on it properly, you don't grab it properly, and you just walk away from it. It's kind of annoying. But now that we actually have the big key, we can now go open up the rest of the dungeon, as well as get the big chest, which is what we definitely do need. So let's head north. I mean, once we've opened this, we could technically teleport out, but I do want to visit every room so we can get more bonuses. We have the hook shot! It extends, contracts, and boing, can grab all many things. Amazing! Did something happen again? Actually. Oh, that one shots them. Helpful. I'm taking everything out with a hammer in this room. There we are. Easy. Easy. Okay, so let's check the map. Uh, we can go north, so we want to go get out of the bomb and do that. Only for two minutes. Oh, he, I missed the dialogue. God damn it. Basically, uh, it's hit 42 minutes in. We now have infinite HP for only two minutes. Even if it's two minutes, you may be able to easily best strong enemies. Hurry, youth. Do you want to carry more arrows? Give me 100 rupees. So, yeah. 242. Well, I'd say 242. 42 minutes into 44 minutes in, we have infinite health. We can't lose health. So, go nuts. <laughs> is this floor done? I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, and then we go up in order to sort those rooms out. Easy. And now we only have one minute of invincibility left. It's a little bit annoying that we only have it at this point in the dungeon. Oh, and by the way, you have the hook shot. Can't hook shot over these. You have to use the boomerang. See? Kind of annoying that. Remember though, if you want guaranteed one rupee drops, you can still stun enemies with the boomerang or with the hook shot and then kill them. Personally though, I don't like to do that. We have infinite health, who cares? <laughs> we have to go right, because there is a hidden room here, that is perfectly fine. Best thing when being invincible, you can just go stupid. Rupees! Splendid! And then we can just, well, it would actually take longer to uh, get out normally, so I'm just going to take damage and be back in this room here. And now it's hit 44, so the power invincibility is now gone. Power invincibility has disappeared. Big old hookshot uh, maze here. To get to the boss, yeah, the dungeon was just trying to get the key to get to the boss. That was basically the dungeon. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Very quick dungeon, this one. It's just a little bit annoying. Uh, no, I've gone back on myself. That was the wrong way to go. And I pressed Y and I didn't use the hookshot. What the heck? I see. Did you hear that, youth? I have to be more cautious from now on. Oh, yeah, I did go the wrong, wrong way. I was supposed to go down here. I could be opening up these pots on the way. To get health, I'm just not bothering. Because I don't need to. We're here. 
we've done the whole dungeon just one more little check rooney just make sure and we do need the hook shot to beat this guy because if you try to avoid him after getting the big key well that's a bit of a problem it's wart or argus from, depending on the uh you know the version the, the translation version or whatever that you're playing the jaws mask or link to the past I've mentioned this many a time he has two names it's either argus or wart the 2d one is normally known as argus Hmm, can it be? The suspicious peddler has set up shop. Yep, yeah, because it's about a hit. 46 minutes in, 10 minutes away from the uh, end of the week. And therefore, the minigame is now available, which is right outside this dungeon. So we can take away and try that out immediately. So we've pretty much done everything else. Pretty much. Oh, come on, give me that. Give me All right, here we go. Just got to wait for him to do his retracting, even though he hasn't got anything to retract. And he's dead already, look at that. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ding! Give me that. Don't want to let that land on the floor, that could go smash! I have a mission. Because he wants to go check it out, but... Yeah. Not really allowed to. <laughs> Does it have some kind of significance? Who knows? But here's the thing. Five minutes, uh, no, actually, I was about to say five minutes from now. Uh, one minute from now, the mole will show up in five random locations, so we're going to have to go find him in a minute. Now, though, I'm going to hop in here and try this out, because it just became available right when we defeated the boss. Throw the bombs into the pots. If you can get them all, you win big. Five bombs, 20 rupees. This is actually quite hard to time, because they really trick you out when you're about to chuck it. Look at that. That's mean. And the bombs take a while to explode, so... To be fair, if you don't want to play the minigame while you're playing it, you can just walk out and bail. There we are, so that's 8 rupees at least. Nah! God damn it. I will admit I'm going quick, so I'm not wasting too much time, but... Could you pick up the bomb, please? It's probably best when they're there, because I can do that. They also blow up immediately when they land in the pot, so that's kind of helpful. And I think they're just about to tell me how to beat the boss that we just fought. Uh, no, I don't want to spend another 20 rupees. Yep, a monster called Argus. So, obviously, they're using the English translation here, so they're going to call it Argus and not Wart, because Wart is, is the English name for the 3D version, Image of Mask. The names are swapped around in the Japanese version. Oh, and I just noticed that there's a bit of a tile error here. <laughs> I only just noticed that just now. So, uh, yeah. The mole is now available. He's either next to the abandoned dungeon, uh, in a house in Kakariko Village, in the double house south of Kakariko, or... Uh, oh no, he's only got those four locations, so we should be fine. So let's get the Ocarina out to scout here quick. Alright, so we're going to start here. Just get the boomerang out for now. We've got to find this guy. See north here. I don't think he's here. Doesn't look like it. That's annoying. I want to visit the castle, dang it. And if I don't have the time, I can't do it. So it could be in a house around here. An empty house. A house that's normally vacant. This is normally a vacant house, I think. He's not in here. That's not a vacant house. Oh wait, Bugcatcher's house is normally vacant as well. Actually no, he could be in this lady's house. Being a dick. No, he's not in here. This is annoying. Time's ticking. Ah! <laughs> not really much else other than this really. I've just got the rest of the time to find this mole. And he's annoying. Wait, would he be? No, he wouldn't be in the storage room, would he? Nah. Nah. I know that his hole is around here normally. I'm not worried about that for now. Right, he's probably in the double house then, or below the uh, rental store down here. Right, he's definitely in the double house then. That's That's the only place he could be. We've pretty much covered everywhere else. 
Sorry if the frames seem like they're stuttering a lot, that's just inherent with the, uh, the ROM. There you are, you bastard! The final place I had to look. Moly ho, moly ho, moly moly ho! You went luck, you found me! I'll tell you where to find some great treasure, listen carefully. Go near the blacksmith shop to find something good! Hurry! Last Dragoner, the boomerang has gone back to normal. So it will no longer have the sparklies, and it also doesn't cut grass anymore. Right, so back to the uh, blacksmiths. We've got five minutes, well, six minutes remaining. It will be five in a moment. It's weakened as well. Only six minutes left. Hurry! Moly ho, you made it, so I dug a hole. There's lots of treasure inside. Is this there now? Let's go have a little goosey then. We need the hookshot, otherwise we can't grab everything in it. 100 rupees. So that's one. You know what, I saw it, so I'm going to grab it. Two chests. Oh god. Bonking is not what we need right now. In any manner. Three chests. Four, five chests. So that's 500 rupees right there. Just, I think just finding the mole is enough to give you like the score. But obviously rupees add to that score. There's no time left for anything today. Can you see anything? don't actually have anything else written down, so I don't think you can see anything. The last 10 minutes are pretty uneventful. Hocus Pocus. The mysterious power is gathering. And I'm not fighting any enemies, and enemies aren't guaranteed to drop items, so it's like I don't have a lot to do. All I'm going to do now is pay a visit to the uh, castle. Because it's once again chill time with 5 minutes to spare. Even though I derped around a little, still made it with plenty of time. So let's go have a little look around here. Ironically enough, Hyrule Castle is probably the least uh, eventful area in this. Yep, that was helpful. You four minutes remain. Whoa, I see their mine in the middle of four squares. Yeah, we're allowed to walk around uh, Hyrule Castle, but we can't go in Hyrule Castle. So since we have a little bit of extra uh, time, as I mentioned earlier, oh, this guy is uh, guarding here. You can't pass through here. Why? Because I'm standing in the way. That's why. I guess they've been a little less tight. Oh, uh, I guess they've been more tight, not covering a bigger perimeter. At least we're able to return to the previous part of the game, which is something I actually want to make mention of. It's which is the easiest one to get to. I guess the Eastern Palace. Let's go there. I don't need to do this. I'm just doing this to show off the fact that. You know, if you're missing anything in a dungeon, you can try to go back in, but because it's not the focus of the that of the week, um, they'll just give you whatever's in there. A thief will be standing in the way, and I'll be like, "There's no time to waste around here." Because again, as I mentioned at the start of this week, if you started on this week or you like as a new file, or you don't have everything from the previous one, you can't progress. So how else are you supposed to get through other than cheating in the items? Therefore, they actually provide you with them. See, there's a dude in the way. You don't have time to wander around here. And if I had anything missed in that dungeon that was required, like the sword, the shield, he would give it to me. Anything like uh, quantity upgrades, stuff like that, the, the, or even the heart. I don't know if he gives you the heart containers, probably not. You won't get those. You will get the ancient stone tablets still, though. I'm eating two chicken sandwiches, added hot sauce to the patties. Curry sauce? Ah, uh, no. That's kind of a different thing. Curry sauce is more like a gravy kind of sauce. You work very hard. Oh, no, she says the same thing. Okay. Let's go back to Agina. You've gathered the stone tablets, but there are still some items you haven't found. You should go and try to find them. What? What, what have I not got? Oh, okay, the R button works on this one. Okay, yeah, you can see what you have. Uh... What, what, what do I not have then? I'm missing a heart piece still, what? Oh shit. Uh, I'm missing a heart piece still. Where the hell is this? Oh, 
Oh, I got the... I got the shovel and I didn't dig for it. Well, that was dumb. I'm now down 100 rupees. I completely forgot to dig for the shovel. You see what I mean? When you're going fast, I, I went to the forest. I was like, oh, that's convenient because it's actually buried there. It's not buried there anymore. It's been moved. Oh, it's actually right next to me. That's actually very convenient. <laughs> I mean, it was convenient previously because it was at the entrance to the forest, but I completely forgot to dig it up. I just went straight to the dungeon, which I've done twice already because I wanted to go straight there for... Um... Oh, God. I've got, like, no time. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. There it is. All right, I got it. Oh, my God. That was so close. That was so close. I would have screwed that up. Now I've got everything. My God. Because I went, it was at the entrance of the forest, and I was going to be like, oh, that's convenient because I need to go there so I can just dig it up. But I completely forgot. And before then, I also completely forgot to return the dwarf. That was visually following behind me. So I didn't do that either. And I'm a complete moron. But I just barely made it. Princess, it seems that the youth has gotten two more stone tablets. But no further clues can be found around the house of my older brother. I mean, Sahasrama the Elder. Is that so? Oh, Agina, the House of Link, the hero, is south of, cast of the castle. I saw the Link with the Book of Medora. If we consult it, we can solve the mystery of that writing. The House of Link, the hero, is it? It's dangerous to go alone. Yeah, it would have been nice if they put a bit of the other text on this screen, because it kind of lingers for two lines. <laughs> The youth will go with me. That's right. I'm counting on you. I can't believe I almost messed up on that heart piece. Because it, it's not visual. It's on the map. And I completely forgot. And that's I did that twice. But I still got it. So it's not big of a problem. It's not that big of a problem. <laughs> I should have been able to get that on the way. I just didn't. Ah, this is the House of Link. The hero. I'm actually kind of annoyed about that. <laughs> You know what? We're keeping it. Unless something goes really bad, like I actually did miss something, I'm not going to redo this, because that's the whole point of this. I don't know why it does that. That's a bit weird. Still a long way to go. Don't forget to migrate your SRAM file. The system does it for me. <laughs> Which is very helpful. Translator's note. Original text was, don't forget to tune in to my next broadcast. Yeah, they forgot to put that in last time. But yeah, um, ba barely did that, because I forgot about that one heart piece. Again, I'm... I'm this is being live streamed, I'm being real. I still got everything, it's still 100%. I just kind of cocked up but remedied it at the very end. If I actually do not get everything, or something goes completely tits up and I do have to reload the week, that's what I'll be doing. But I am still satisfied with the first episode a lot. So, if depending on how week 3 goes, I'm going to keep this. But, you guys have witnessed it, so that's fine. We got a lot more money now. The thing is that when it calculates uh, rupees, I think it only calculates the rupees that you picked up during that particular week, not held over from the previous one. So we have almost 5,000 rupees, 49,332, uh, 4,932, I can't bloody read. 12 heart containers total, 4 ancient stone tablets, 0 deaths. Got a slightly weaker score than last week's. Probably would have been a... Uh, a hundred higher if I didn't have to do the uh, shovel again. Uh, pressing B goes to our total score. Uh, we have oh no, it does. Okay, so that's uh, that. This is part of our complete score. So I took a bit more damage overall. These are held over and tallied across the entirety of the week, so that's fine. Our total score: three hundred forty-four thousand nine hundred twenty. And the adventure continues at Link's house where we cover basically everything on the bottom part of the map. And that's going to be a scramble. So, see you guys next time for when we do that. Obviously, that will be for YouTube, but for because on Twitch we're going to still continue where we are going to do that very thing. So, see you for week three. Where we start at Link's house, cover the swamp, the desert, and even Lake Holier. See you guys then.